there. Welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 episode. <sighs> Let's see what friend wants here. Okay, um, anyway, I figured since some people are new to Grand Theft Auto 5, believe it or not, uh, especially on the PlayStation 4, I'm going to get them a PlayStation, I'm, I'm going to start the series, I'm going to try to put them into a playlist once I can actually figure out how to do that. But, uh, for now, let's I'm start to do, do it episode by episode. I figured I'd kind of kill two birds, one stone, one episode, perhaps. So we'll give it a shot. Alright, now I'm going to teach you all the basics. Don't forget, this is PlayStation 4. I don't know if this is, uh, you know, I don't know if it's for Xbox or for the PC, but this is for PlayStation 4, using a PlayStation 4 controller. So as you can see, we are currently in story mode. Uh, we are playing as Trevor Phillips, my favorite psychotic monster, my favorite uh, character of all time. But anyway, so I'm just gonna show you. I'll give you all the basics. So you look at your, uh, your, you know, your controller. All right, you have it in your hand. On the right side, you have the triangle button at the top, circle button at the right, and below you have the X button, and to the left you have the square. And if you look between the square and the X, you have the right analog stick. You move that up to look up, down to look down, right to look right. Oh, I'll switch that back over here. Yeah, right to look right, and left to look left. Okay, simple enough. Got it? Good. Now, if uh, now if you look between the square and the triangle, there will be an options button, which actually says options. So you press that button, and voila, you're in this menu. Press it again and you go back. Now let's press it again and sometimes you can you know, press circle to go back but for now I would just stick with pressing you know the options button again and again do as many times as you like it does not really affect anything. Now let's get on to something a little more important um, let's go to walking. So you look at you know so like I said you look at the square and the X and in between that you know you got you know the bottom left of it you have the analog stick. Okay, you know, right analog stick. Just look around. But how do you move? Well, to the left of that, immediate left, you see the PlayStation button. You press that, and yeah, it just pretty much kind of makes you leave the game, so to speak. I'll press it right now. It makes you go to the home menu. Um, so that doesn't really do anything that important in you know, like game-wise. I mean, it's a very important button. Don't get me wrong. But then you look to the left of that. And you see the left analog stick. Now you use that to start walking around. You can go forward to walk forward. Um, excuse me, Ron. Yes, that's, that's, that's Ron. Ron Weasley. Um, I think it was Weasley. But anyway, so you go forward to go forward, right to go right, left to go left, and backwards to walk backwards. Uh, of course, you can move all around like that. And you can even look. Now, what's really cool is if you don't want to, you know, go right or left using the left, you know, left analog stick, you just want to push that button forward. What you can do is you can push the left analog stick forward. You look right, you will start walking right. You look left, you will start walking left. Uh, go up, down, but it doesn't really affect it. Um, now, let's go left over here just a little bit. Let's walk over here. Um, I'll show you the driving controls and flying controls and all that in a minute. But first, let's show the D-pad. So, we'll notice the bottom left-hand screen. You'll look at that. That gets bigger. How I do that is you just tap the, uh, uh, okay, you tap the directional pad or the arrows, um, which that is, you know, to the left of the left analog stick. Now, you have the up pad. That brings up your phone. And to bring your phone back, you just press the circle. Exit that off. Um, that's what that was about. But anyway, so up to bring your phone, and you can you know, use a directional pad to you know go up or up, down for down, right for right, left for left, you know, all that good stuff. And press circle to close your phone. Um, and then really, when you're on foot, they don't really do anything that important, um, well, unless you're on your phone. So. That's really the basic basics. Now, I'm actually going to get a little more intricate because this is, like I said, this is PlayStation 4. This is the next generation. So, this I think is really cool, but I suggest you stick with third person until you totally get the controls down. Um, 
because first person it is a little trickier. I'm not gonna lie to you there, first person is a little trickier than third person. So you're gonna wanna, you know, press um you know, basically above the right and left analog stick. You know, you just see that the touchpad. You wanna press that, you can go into many views, it's a far out view, that's third view, and then first person right here, that's pretty cool. Um and then you press it one, two, three. There are always three views and then first person, unless you're in director's mode playing as someone else. So let me just go ahead and um, save the game. And then let's go ahead and let's um let's drop director's mode so I can you know do this stuff, you know without getting cops because I'm gonna show you how to shoot some guns and and you know mess around with the settings and whatnot. So anyway what you you could go into director's mode two ways. You can either press and hold the touchpad until the interaction menu pops up, which is an interaction menu for online as well. Uh, there's a lot more to it in online, so we can go into director's mode from online. Um, well, well, you might be able to. You have to go to the pause menu. But I'll tell you what the pause, oh, about the pause menu much, much later. Um, so you, you, you can set a quick GPS route. Um, so the garage is right here, and the safe houses are here as well. Um, the nearest ATM. And then you have the inventory, you know, you go up, scroll up and down, and then left and right is what you want to put on. Like getting more glasses. Uh, I wish I had more masks for story mode, that's for sure. Um, so there you go, and then so you can go into director's mode that way. Or if I remember correctly, you can pull up, right? Okay. And then you can go, you know, right here in the middle is contacts, so I always have that picture of a person and now you can I can either call in a blimp all right let's, let's just do that let's, why don't, let's just do that all right and I'll teach you how to drive you know just Hello, driving the car. Blimp services how can I help you today I assume the only way you can help me is to send out a blimp of course sir I'll get one sent out to the nearest available drop-off point amazing what you can order over the phone thank you for your business call us anytime okay now you enter a vehicle if you're gonna to want to go ahead and press that triangle button right okay so that's good. Now, you know what? Let's go press the interaction menu. Let's see if the blimp shows up. It's one off that board, the blimp. It might actually be all the way down. So I'm going to. So, okay, so you don't want to press the options button. I right, press the options button. Now, oh, what well, we can't exactly go into, we can't mess around with it. You don't want to go ahead and press X, go into the map. And how you move around the map is the left analog stick up for up, down for down. You know the drill. So it's most likely going to be all the way down here here or it takes a while to show up so we we'll zoom in using the R2 button which I'll tell you what that button is soon hmm. but uh, yeah hmm okay hurry up a bit around you know, I will teach you how to drive um, just give me a second here let's get away from the police station um, okay so Okay, so how you drive here is, first of all, you look at your controller. Let's, just, let's go over here for a second. Um, so you look at your controller, right? And at the top, you don't see any buttons. Uh, but if you actually turn it over, it'll actually show you if, if you if you bring it to, if you bring the um, you know if you bring the options button and the share button towards you, you'll actually see it says R1, R2, L1, and L2. R2 
you press that to go forward and of course you use the left analog stick to draw it you turn the car and then you use the right analog stick to look around now oh crud I'm going too fast I want to break okay L2 press L2 and you'll break now here's something that's very important each vehicle uh, has its own unique you know braking power and mm, most of them are the same steering but they all have their own acceleration and uh, they're all very unique in handling so you have to keep that in mind alright you gotta keep that in mind so what is this blimp order jeez Where's a freaking bullet? Where's the bullet? I'm trying to have some fun with y'all here while having a bullet jump. It's a little interesting, but I guess I'll call it again. Um, let's see, it's over here. Alright, so, there you have it R2 to go forward, L2 to break, and then of course you go backwards. And let's say you get stuck. Alright, let's say you're stuck on like a little rock or something, alright, and you want to get off. Um, but you don't know how. Well, real simple of that. You pull, you gotta do it at the same time. Okay, I mean, you can kind of, you can go forward a little and then do it and then, yeah, that'll take a little while. You go backwards and do it. You gotta press both L1 and, I'm oh, sorry, L2 and R2 at the same time. Your tires are spinning. You go left. I guess technically right a little and then right to do it that way. And that's pretty handy if you're in you know if you're in a tight alleyway and you can only do that and you don't want to do so much, you know, backing up and going forward. So let's try and call this blimp in. Um because I want to show you how to go into online. Uh, oh okay, my bad. Um because I, I wanna make this short, but uh yeah. I wanna have a little bit of fun too. Blimp. Can I help you? I need a blimp. No expense spared. I'll send one out to you right away. Excellent. Hope it works out for you. Goodbye. And of course, while you're in a, a land vehicle, you know, like a... Um, what are you what are all doing here? What are you all doing here? Oh, I gotta get my eyes checked. Where's a stupid blimp at? Alright, well I guess I'll just have to show you how to, how to fly something else. That's alright, whatever. You know, while you're in a land vehicle, um... Like, if you press and hold... Uh, okay. In a cop car, if you press L3, which, by the way, you press R3 to look back, L3, you know, tap that in the police vehicle, um, and that'll do the siren. Hold it while the light sirens are on. And you will make there are two different sounds. All right, there's that and that. Okay, and tap it again. That goes away. Now you're probably wondering, uh, just like I was years ago, how the heck do I find the R3 and L3 buttons? Hello there, thank you for joining. And it's quite simple. That that's the analog sticks. You push the analog sticks in, and voila, R3 looks backward. That does that. Now if you hold the uh, the L3 button while you're in a police vehicle, it'll do the honk with the little siren here and there. So there, there you have that. Um, so really all you know about the driving, and of course, if you want to listen to a radio station, just give me a second here. Um, let me just uh, try that. I'll show you an online. Um, oh, and of course, something that's very important: there are two two things. Press hold X and your vehicle or your character will dock. That does make the handling a little bit harder because you are a little bit lower, so just keep that in mind. Um, and then of course if you want to do like little drifts, and I will warn you, some vehicles can drift, some cannot. Um, you go ahead and press R1 and that's the emergency brake. Okay, and now you know you can press on you can hold that. Now, most times you want to tap it, and some vehicles, they're better at drifting if you kind of, you know, 
tap R1 and hold L2 a little, but we'll get much into the whole drifting aspect of the game later on. Yeah, so there you have it. Now let's go ahead and let's load up an online, but first let's save this. Alright. Let's load up an online, then I'll have to end this tutorial video, because I'm sure it's going on way too long. So, what you want to do is you're going to want to press the options button. Alright. And then, now you can press R1 or L1 to navigate through these you know, little menus here, it's many menus as I call them. And you go all the way to online, now the fastest way to do it is you go ahead and go from map, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, I don't want to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, well, I guess it doesn't really matter, I just feel like I'm going faster, I'm doing left, I don't know. And then you go ahead and you press X to get into that. And then um, up and down a select. Now you have now there are a few options here. I'm going to try to you know describe what we're trying to do. This is an every tutorial video that I can find that I do. Uh, describe what these mean. Character transfer. That's if you are playing on a last generation system. Like let's say you're playing on PS3 and you want to switch to PlayStation 4. But you don't have to start all over again. You just go ahead and hit character transfer and then follow the steps. Which uh, sometimes I will do that whenever I get the time. I will go ahead and, uh, and transfer a character from PS3 to PS4. That way I can show you all how to do so. However, I'll have to create a whole new account to do that. So if you all ever need me to do that, just go ahead and leave that in the comments. And then, then I'll do it if I get enough requests for it. Because it is a lot of work. Because I have to sign them all up and do all that. Yeah. Okay, so join friends. Uh, like it says, find and join a session containing one or more of your friends. Now, obviously, that means open lobbies. You will not spawn into a invite only or a solo session, which I'll describe what those are later on. Um, and you can join crew members. It's pretty much the exact same thing, except instead of joining friends, you are joining crew members. They happen to be a friend. Your, ha your friend happens to be in the session. Well, then there you go. What do you know? It's probably a bonus if you like that friend. Uh, negative if you don't want that friend. <laughs> and you got crews, and you go into this, and this basically shows you, you know, you got my crews, that's the crews you are in. Um, uh, suggested crews, these are the ones that will be suggested to you. Um, and then you got friends crews, you have invites, which I've invited to three crews there. Um, and then requests. And this is the ones that, you know, I, uh, Okay, there's a leaderboard. Uh, I wish that's just you know who's the top crew and whatnot. I mean, that's probably says you know, I guess that's total RP or whatever. Um, hmm. Okay, so then you, you know, go back by pressing circle. Then you go to creator, and that uh, well, I'll, I'll go into creator much later. But, uh, yeah, and you go to choose character. Now, you can only have up to two characters. But, again, I'll go into that much later on. Right now, you only go ahead and press play GTA Online. Now, here you go. You have a couple different options. You have go, invite-only session, crew session, closed crew session, closed friend session, and solo session. So, let's start with go, because that's at the top of the list. I'll have to go top-down, unless I'm going through video clips, and I'll have to go bottom-up. Um... Go, that is head straight into GTA Online, and that is really going straight, that is, you know, trying to jump into a open lobby. Um, or so if you want to play with a bunch of random people, um, you know, an open lobby, you got to do CEO work, whatever, which again, I'll get much, in, I'll get into CEO work and all that much later on. You want to go ahead and press go, but you will not spawn into a solo session, you will not spawn into an invite only, and you will not collect $200. Um... So there you have it. That's just jumping straight into open lobbies only. I mean, rarely it'll throw you into an invite only. Um, I guess they only did that to me every once in a while because I go in invite only so much. Um, and then you go in invite only, and that's pretty much where it's like an open session, except it's closed, and the only people that can join are people that you invite or other people invite. So that's pretty much it. That's what I go and do all the time. Uh, it definitely does help if... Uh, if you don't want to get killed by a bunch of people, you don't really want to worry that much about people, you know, joining. You can just go into that. No one will join unless you invite them or others are in the lobby and they invite other people. 
However, you cannot do CEO work or anything else like that in these kinds of lobbies. You can only do that in an open lobby, uh, which, you know, press go there. Um, so there you go, that's invite only. And then crew session. Head into GTA Online with your crew and other crews. Choose how many crews to play within this session. Now this, you know, you can have up to four, minimum of two, uh, and two to four crews. And I guess that means how many, you know, different crews you can take out, two different crews if you want to do, like, you know, crew v. crew battle. And close crew session. Um, and then, you know, head into GTA Online with your crew members only. Uh, that's enough said, I believe. That's just, you know, the people that are in your current crew that you currently have active. Um, so, yeah, and then close friend session. And that is only your friends. I guess it's only people you invite. No one else. Stay invite. Uh, I don't really know. I've done that. Um, then you go solo session. This. Okay. This is. Uh, I think it's pretty cool to have this feature, but I want to use it once. Um, it felt kind of odd because like you you can't invite anyone. You no one can join you. You like you're not allowed to invite anyone. It's just by yourself. So if you want to play by yourself, you don't want to take the risk of anybody joining you. Uh, you know, y y you're just by yourself. You go in a solo session. You are absolutely by yourself, 100% by yourself. You can't have people randomly join you, but you can't invite anyone at the same time. Um, but of course, if you're, you're in a hurry and you want to, you know, I'll, 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 I'll give you more details on how to, you know, fast way, you know on how to, the best way to switch lobbies, uh, or types of lobbies anyway. So uh, there you have it. There's the list. Now let's go ahead and then what I usually do is you just go ahead and click invite only. It'll ask you, you know, are you sure you want to click Grand Theft Auto 5? All unsafe progress will be lost. Just press X to go OK. And of course, what, if you're going to do something new, like you're creating a character or you're, uh, you know, creating a job or just whatever, most of the time, just go ahead and try to read at the bottom right to see what's OK, what's, you know, not. You know, like what says, OK, X to be OK. Circle could be cancel, or it could actually be, you know, like it could be asking you like a yes or no question. Make sure you, if it's asking you like a yes or no question, you're always gonna, you know, or something like something like a standard question, like, you know, going from story mode to online, or director's mode to online, or whatever. Uh, just go ahead and always make sure you know which button is yes and which button is no, because trust me, you don't want to make that mistake. Um, so there you have it. There's how to get into online. Um, and now you can, you know, mess around and do what you please. Now, I'm going to stop this video. Um, and then I got something to do. And then I'll uh, start up another one. I'm going to do as many as I can today. So, like I said, uh, I will try to, you know, put this into a playlist. So there you have it. There's a very basics. I will teach you all how to fly vehicles and how to shoot guns. And how to start a play, you know, like a playlist and jobs and buy vehicles and you know, there's various things. Um, I'll give you some tips and tricks that I have learned over the few years that I have played. Now, not the best, not the best Grand Theft Auto Fiver or the Grand Theft Auto player at all by any means, but I do know a little bit, and so I figure I'll make these tutorials. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, because I will do more tutorials like this. Um, if you found this at all helpful or you know, informational or whatever, if you did like this, please go ahead and drop a like. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and post that in the comments. Uh, if you have any things that you might want to see that you need help with, you know, learning how to play in, in you know, on PS4, again, I'll probably change the name of this video, the title of this video. Um, but, uh, yeah, just go post in the comments if there's any. Thing, you know, any tips that you might want, you know, if you need help with, you know, like, well, how do I, you know, buy a vehicle, customize a vehicle, whatever. I'll show you all the tips and tricks that I know. So stay tuned for more videos. Stay awesome. And as always, I will catch you later.